tourists. Hey, Manny. We were in the middle of a conversation here. This guy looks familiar. Hey, it's the guy from the beginning. Oh, made a big Manny. And we're back. Ah, my bread and butter. Thrill-seeking rich folk with a poor grasp of statistics and probability. Ah, my thrills. Okay, let's put that away. Let's see who these people are. Chow Chilla Charlie in his regular booth. Regular is always good for business. Mind if I sit down, Charlie? Of course not, Manny. I, I mean, it is your club, right? Hmm. <laughs> Says a shady fella, eh? Yeah. Let's find out. Right. So what are you doing in it? Didn't I tell you not to come back until you can pay your bar tab? Oh. <laughs> or they kicked me out of that cat track for printing fake betting stubs. So now I have to come here, Manny, which I love, which I love. Hmm. Yeah, how did you do it? How did you print fake betting stubs? With this. Isn't she beautiful? The last time I was incarcerated, I shared a cell with the most dishonest con man I ever met. He was strictly small time, and I managed to steal this from him quite easily. Thanks. You never know when this may come in handy. Hey, give that back to me, Manny. Maybe once you sell your bar tab, eh, Charlie? Oh, Manny. Oh, smooth, Manny, smooth. Yeah, what else can you counterfeit? What else can you counterfeit? Nothing. Anything. Ooh. Yeah, let's get one for Gladys. How about driver's licenses? Sure. Just, um, give me a recent picture. Fifty bucks in, uh, about two weeks, okay? Uh, passports. I guess for the ship. So can you make passports? Manny, you still think like a living man in so many ways. No soul needs a passport. We are all citizens of the same nation, and our king rides a pale horse. So no passports? No. No, that little hologram is so tricky, you know? <laughs> when I think of something I need, I'll come back. I'm not a wishing well, Manny. True, but... You do have certain skills that do interest me and Manny. Yeah, that nice suit. That's a nice suit. Where'd you steal it? Manny, if you learn to play the odds like Chow Chila Charlie, then maybe you too can have a suit this fine someday. I think my suit's pr plenty fine. Well, we know why he ain't on the roulette table. He's he has a tab. He's in debt. Anyways, um, let's ask. Why aren't you over at the roulette tables? The roulette is for lonely widows and Frenchmen. Why don't you get some slot machines, Manny? Everybody, old women, little children, they all love slot machines. And I have a system, an infallible system for beating them. Hmm, it is true. Slot machines do get a lot of money. I have a couple of friends who work at the slots, well, the casino, and they tell me, oh, it is rigged. And I think we all know that. It's rigged in favor of the house. House always wins. It's just that the chance of you finding the correct machine, very, very low. Yeah, they might attract undesirables as well. And hey, I love the slot machine. I ain't a Frenchman. Bonjour, je m'appelle Chicken Salad. <laughs> uh, maybe that's why I was speaking French earlier. Um, and I ain't a lonely widow either. I just think I have better odds on the slot 
Oh, not the slot machine, the roulette table. Of course, that's gambler's fallacy. Shouldn't gamble, shouldn't gamble out there. Yeah, let's do this. I think slot machines attract an undesirable element. Oh, well, we're all undesirable, Manny. Yeah, but your credit's no good to boot. Ooh. Yeah, that's no good. But let's, um, let's find about a bit more about the system. Eh, yeah, Charlie? Tell me your system, Charlie. I can't tell you my secrets. Uh, just this. You have to become one with the bandit, Manny. You you have to get inside the machine and, and make it one to pay. On second thought, stay away from my roulette tables. <laughs> yeah. Um, he has some um, sticky fingers, I guess. All my friends are lonely widows and Frenchmen. Except me, Manny. I'm here to keep you sane. Well, I've got a club to run, so... Oh, yes. Please, Manny. Get on with your glamorous life. Man, I'm getting this weird vibe from Charlie. I feel like he's gonna rat me out any chance he gets. Anyways, let's go to the tables. Ah, my bread and thrills. Oops. Not while they're losing. Um. Let's speak to my, I guess, manager. A is hard to find, and guys like this, even harder. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your bets. Everything okay down here? What happened to Monsieur Bogan's lucky streak? It ran out. Well, so did he. <laughs> I guess that's it. Everything okay? To it ran out. Well, so did he. Okay, okay. So, I guess, I guess that's good practice. Don't speak while they're betting. I wonder if Meche will come. Hmm. Looks like Lupe has been in the sugar again. Um, sugar as in cocaine or? Something far more innocent than what I just said. Never mind, let's um explore the town. Oh wow. Definitely made it big. <sighs> Michi? Manny, help me. I've been lost for so long. Why didn't that you is look not for Michi? Me? I did. You ran off. Why? Because you said I was no good. I've been all alone in the world for a whole year. And it's all because of you! She is. an annual thing with you, Manny? Every day of the dead, you toss your bones into the drink and I fish them out? I don't plan to be around that long, Velasco. As soon as I find out where that ocean liner's going, I'm after it. Ha oh, oh. ha! That ship's going to Puerto Zapato. That's the other side of the world. Ain't no ships going out that way but the old limbo here, but... But nothing. If the limbo's my only hope, then I'm already on board. Uh, well, good luck, son. That's all I got to say. Man, what happened? Hey, I just realized the moon has a skull for a face. <laughs> My back on point, what happened? Wasn't that Meche? 
Why does she throw a bottle at my face? Oh wait, they probably s spun some kind of story where it was all Manny's fault and then, you know, Domino probably kind of kind of got her on on foot and said, you know, probably got a better package and everything. Uh, oh well. Maybe there's a message in the bottle. Nope, that's not where I wanted to go. Anyways, enough of my speculation. Let's keep going. That Doc Master Velasco is one salty old bag of rope. <laughs> you should see his wife. <laughs> um. Yeah. What's going on in that bottle? A tugboat? This happens to be a perfect scale replica of the SS Lumbago. I'm just having a little trouble getting the walk-in beam to fit on the neck here. <laughs> That's funny. Because a Lumbago is usually more of a problem in the lower back than the neck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nothing. <laughs> I'd better go finish packing. I. You do that, son. Not a bad little ship in a bottle you got going there. Yeah, well, there's that Rubicava craft fair next week, and also. Hmm. Activities. Okay. Let's go explore before we set sail. Hmm. Oh, what's this? That's the folding bridge that connects this pier to the base of the cat track. Let's pull it. Okay, let's explore it. Ooh. Is that a working blimp? There it is. Max's giant cat racetrack. How's a regular guy with three roulette tables supposed to compete with that? Man. That would be nice to have. That's where Velasco lets us store the bone wagon. I've tried. Only Gladys can get these doors open. Right, right. Should go get Gladys as well. Ooh, what's going on? Here? I'm not sure what I hate more, crowds or cats, but I'm definitely not going near either one today. Oh, cats! Is that a cat? Jesus, the thing's huge. Wow, somebody really liked this cat. They don't have much use when they're alive, and stuff they don't have much more. Cats are huge. Is it the same thing with the Egyptian lore about, you know, the dead? Fuchi, that smell is peor que la muerte. Oh, something here. Wet foods for winners. I could open it with my teeth, but I'm not that hungry. I don't need the hernia. Oh, there's something there. It says revolutionary design leaves can edges safe and smooth for kitty. There we go. Put that in. Oh, start the bottle. Wait, what's this? Me and this ticket printer, we're gonna make a mint. Oh, I see. This is how we make money. It says revolutionary design leaves can edges safe and smooth for kitty. Let's see if we can cut one open. Hey! Great. Now it smells like a giant cat litter box and some sort of gelatinous demon mystery meat product in here. Mmm, <laughs> smells good. But I'd rather eat my own arm. Yep. Fair enough. This is what they do the kitty poop. This cat litter really needs changing. See? This is why I don't have a pet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's laughing that hard because I pressed the pickup button. <laughs> Tempting as it is, I just can't bring myself to jump in the giant unclean kitty litter. So yeah, that's why I was laughing so hard because I was pressing the pickup button. Uh, I guess he didn't want to do it, or the thought was funny. Okay. I don't need one of those. Sure not. 
Let's go up. Hey! Getting ready for the next race. Looks like a great night for cat races. Looks like a great night. Things do look bad, but this jump wouldn't do the trick, unfortunately. Not picking that up. Hello? Oh, hi! Betting stuff, stuff, please. What? I need the betting stuff for the race you're interested in. Interested in how? And the rest didn't seem the photo finish file for, of course. Oh, I, I don't have a betting stuff. Oh, okay. Bye. Yeah. I'm assuming I can make a counterfeit to make a betting stub. Where is it? That, that, there it is. Ha! Print. Oh, okay. So I have to actually... Okay. Better not mess with it until I actually know what I'm looking at. Oh, controls. Tuesday, Anybody there? Look! I told you, we don't have any kitty hats today. What? You have to wait until Tuesday. That's kitty hat day. I don't want a kitty hat. Fine with me. What's your bet then? I don't gamble. It's a conflict of interest for me. Then why <laughs> did you call me down here? For the friendly conversation. <laughs> Five minutes to post. Wow, that's pretty mean, eh? Oh, sorry, monsieur, but this is the elevator to the High Rollers Lounge. That's where I'm going. It is members only. You must be new. And you must have a VIP pass to come upstairs. Adieu. Please do not leave children okay. unattended. Wow, Manny Calavera. You never come up here to see me anymore. Well, I thought you could use the company with everybody gone for the Day of the Dead. In that case, Manny, why don't you stick around until six? That's when I get off. Ooh, Manny. Someone likes you. It's a metal detector. Oh, that explains why it never gets my hair dry. Are, are you serious? Can I try out your metal detector? What's your sudden interest in metal detectors, Manny? No. Um. Yeah. I just want to borrow it for a secret project. Well, I'll show it to you when I'm on break. How's that? Ooh. Yeah, what's the shuttle waiting for? What's the shuttle waiting for? Oh, uh, they're just cleaning it, but they're very thorough. We run a tight ship here, you know. Sorry about that. Uh, I just had to <coughs> get rid of the background noise and the coughing. Anyways, continuing. Yeah, let's find more about the area. Busy night? Hardly. Everybody's gone home for the holiday already. This place is dead, and I'm bored, Manny. Board. Hmm. Yeah. Why don't you come by the club anymore? Well, to tell you the truth, Manny, it's your little coat check girl. All that bubbly energy. I just want to strangle her. I've tried that. It doesn't stop her. <laughs> ah, Carla. You're like the exact opposite. When's your break? Dawn. Oh, that's too late. I'm shipping out tonight. Yeah, right. I've fallen for that line too many times. <laughs> I think it's time for your break. We could slip in the back for a little drink. You can tell me all about your job, the danger, the metal detectors. That back room's all business, Manny. And so am I. Oh. Yeah, what kind of business? What kind of business goes on back there, Carla? Strip searches. Hmm, and you don't qualify. What? Why not? Why don't I qualify for a strip search? Manny, I agree it would help pass the time, but we have procedures and rules here. And you never know when they're watching. I can only strip search people when a regular search turns up nothing. Hey, it's worth a try. Ooh, I love this part.
Hmm. Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. Oh, you're clean. Rats, Manny, I almost got to strip search you. Hmm. I see. It's a metal detector. Oh, that explains. Ah, Carla. Hmm, what if I got Oh, she just lets me. Interesting. These lockers have a note on them. Employees. I don't care who's doing it, but please stop using the contained detonation chamber to crack open walnuts. Thank you. <laughs> They're locked. They're lockers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we need to have something metal in me. Let's go check it out. Oh. Hey, the new blimp is already in full operation. Let's just hope they fill it with something non-flammable this time. It only goes to the land of the living, and there's nothing for me there. No, oh, so it just goes back there. Oh. We need to go for a match. I know that statue's supposed to mean something about justice, but I don't know. Could be a statue of a famous Olympic gymnast, I guess. Could be anything if you don't know. Not picking that up. Oh, it's like this whole other section. Hmm, what's this? Reward offered for cargo stolen from shipyard receiving area, including a large suitcase bearing the initials HL. Hector Lamars. Reward offered for cargo stolen, including. What a horrible jail cell. Then again, it sure taught Gladys a lesson that time. <laughs> Only police chief Bogan knows how to get in there. Oh. Okay, so. That's the jail cell. Maybe the police Bogan is here. Oh Bogan, how do you say it? Hey. Late night at the morgue, isn't it, Membrio? You know I can't sleep with John Doe's on the slab, Manny. If I don't ID these rose gardens tonight, I won't be ready for the two that come in tomorrow. And before you know it, I'm up to my ass in his areas. <laughs> Let's look around. Ooh, flowers. Any leads? I know it's a poor coroner who blames his tools, Manny. But how am I supposed to turn up anything with the equipment they give me? Hey, I had a government job for years, man. I know how you feel. Oh, I just realized. These... These two are murdered. As murdered you can be in the land of the dead. Uh, these two got sprouted, so if you guys don't know, this is what it looks like. Trees grow out of you. Oh, not trees, but plants grow out, grow out of you. I think Membrio could really use a nice tropical vacation. What a sad story. These two sprouted and no one came down to claim them? Death makes sad stories of us all. Hmm. Yeah, what are you looking for? What exactly are you looking for? I'm digging for a treasure that part of me does not wish to find. For when I uncover that sad doubloon that tells me who this poor soul is, my reward is not riches, but the chance to make a phone call and break somebody's heart. Of course, with this equipment, the search could go on for some time. Hmm. Well, if you die in the land of the dead, are you like erased or do you go somewhere else? Hmm. Someone could actually tell me. That'd be great. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Do you ever worry that your job is getting to you, member you? Well. Forensic botany is a trying job, Manny. 
But have you ever spent much time here with a florist? In life, they became florists because they love flowers. But here, a flower is a symbol of pain, of death within death. Their conflicted feelings build and build, and eventually, they become quite mad. Thanks for the tip. I guess I'll send balloon bouquets from now on. Hmm. Yeah, uh, probably best not to ask, but I'll do it anyways. How's business? Booming, unfortunately. More crime every day. And more and more sproutings like these. Something's happening back in Elmaro, I think. And its dark hand is finally reaching us here in Rubakava. It's because we probably got caught. Anyways, um, yeah. And Brio, why do you stay in town? Actually, why don't you head off toward the Ninth Underworld? Manny, you can only search for something for so many years before you stop believing in it altogether. Oh, I thought he was going to say something very different. Like he has to do this, like he's obsessed, but I guess not. I guess there's a belief system here as well. You don't believe in the Ninth Underworld? Why do you think we're all here in Rubakava? Because you're waiting to earn off your time or you can't afford passage or... Manny, we've given up. All of us. When you've been here long enough, you will too. Then we need to get out. It's fast. Good thing I'm leaving tonight. Anyways. Hopefully we can get an item. Can I help? Sure. Grab hold of this leaf right here. Manny? I can't do it. I know. I was just testing. <laughs> oh. I had a professor like that once. Okay. How do you do this How job? How do you do this job? Without becoming jaded, you mean? My secret to happiness, Manuel is that I have the heart of a 12-year-old boy. I keep it over here in a jar. Would you like to see it? No. Sorry. Old coroner joke. Well, don't let me bother you. Always nice to have visitors. I mean, that was a bit creepy. But it's good that he has a sense of humor. I don't know what you can do without it. It's empty. Only until I finish up here. Hey, should I close this? No. I'm trying to air it out. Not picking that up. Hmm. So you got a corner underneath a jail cell. That's a bit gloomy. Hey. What's this? Ooh. This elevator goes up to my club. Yeah, okay. Did I just go to a full circle? Extra thick doors to seal in the hipness. Ooh. The blue casket. Some kind of club. Hey, look! Deadbeats! Oh my god. Are these guys all poets? Look at the way they dress. Hi, what's your name? Oh wow. Labor organization and revolt made easy. Hey, can I borrow this book? Why? So you can freak out our plans for organizing labor and go rat us out to your pal, Chief Morgan? Hey, I'm just looking for something to read on the can, all right? No dice, Cumberbund. Okay, maybe not poets. But don't you see? When the government fades away, so will our troubles. Ah, nonsense. We will always need some armed force to fight off the return of capitalism. That sort of fascist thinking is as dead as you are, comrade. When we get rid of all the guns, that's when people will begin to self-police. And the public opinion alone will keep them from committing crimes. Hola, trust funders. Hey, look who's making the scene. It's Manny Calavera. The up, the down, the backside of the nouveau riche. Beat it, dinner jacket. We're talking about things you wouldn't understand. 
like truth and beauty. Alrighty then. 